In this WebEasy hosting tutorial, we will show you how to add a YouTube video to your WebEasy site. A good reason to choose an embedded YouTube video on your page rather than using the built-in player in the software is it pretty much guarantees universal playability in any browser on any device. As you can see, the built-in player in the software requires a Windows Media Player plugin that is quickly becoming unsupported by internet browsers. Additionally, with your video uploaded to YouTube, you are getting free syndication and additional search engine exposure which carries over to your website when the YouTube video is connected to it. So, to add a YouTube video, on the YouTube page with the video of your choice, scroll down and click on Share. You want to embed the video to your page, so choose Embed. YouTube will provide you with an embed code for the video, along with additional options including the size of the video, and whether or not to show suggested videos at the end of your video. Highlight, and then right-click and copy the code. In your WebEasy project, go to the Insert and Modify tab and choose the Custom HTML Code tool. Right-click in the Custom Script Assistant window and choose Paste to place the YouTube code in the dialog box. Now be sure to check the code because we have noticed an error in YouTube's code which has yet to be corrected at this point. If you look just after the SRC equal quotation mark, the HTTP is missing before the two forward slashes. To correct this, carefully place your cursor between the quotation mark and the first forward slash and type in the HTTP, colon, click OK. Your mouse cursor will change and you can click in your project to drop the HTML box with your YouTube video. In the working project, you will only see a placeholder box as shown. You can ensure that the box is the correct size to fit your YouTube video or vice versa by opening the inspector, either from the quick access toolbar or by pressing Ctrl K on your keyboard. Ensure that the HTML box is selected so you are seeing its properties in the inspector and under the style tab, you will find its dimensions. The width is 320 and the height is 240. You can double click on the HTML code box to see the code which shows the dimensions of your YouTube video at the beginning. It is 560 by 315. As you can see, the HTML code box is too small and when we generate a preview, we can see that it is taking up more space than we intended on the page. So, we like the way the HTML box fits on the page, so we want to ensure that the YouTube video fits inside of that box. To do this, you can double-click on the HTML code box to open the code. And in the beginning of the code, you will see the width and height of the video. We want to make this fit inside of a 320 by 240 box, but we also want it to maintain the original ratio of the video. So we highlight 560 for the width and change it to 360. This is longer than our 320 width box, but as you can see, we have some room to work with width-wise. And then we highlight 315 for height, and to get it under our 240 height while maintaining its aspect ratio, we change it to 215, and press OK to save the new code. To ensure that our HTML code box accurately depicts the size the video will be, double-click in the white value column of the inspector next to the dimensions for the box to change the width and height. We are changing it to 360 by 215 to match our video. And click OK to update the size of the HTML code box. And to see the video live, you can generate a preview. The YouTube player on the page features controls to play or pause the video, adjust the volume, view the video on YouTube, add it to a watch later playlist, or view full screen. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, we are more than happy to help by phone at 855-490-0540, by emailing support at webeasyhosting.com, or by starting a live chat at webeasyhosting.com. Thanks for watching.